The White House projects that come graduation, more than 1.2 million people in New Jersey will owe a collective $30 billion in federal student loans. It's unveiled a student aid bill of rights, saying every student deserves access to a quality, affordable education at a college that's cutting costs and increasing learning. The Department of Education reports New Jersey's public four-year colleges are among the most expensive in the country. A National Association of Colleges and Employers survey shows students with engineering and computer science degrees earn top starting salaries and outproduce their counterparts in economic growth. And when it comes to return on investment in a college education, a company that tracks employee compensation, Payscale, ranks Stevens Institute of Technology in the top five. Joining us is its president, Naramam Farvardin. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. What are considered the best jobs in technology right now? Well, you just mentioned uh, if you want to look at the, the short term in the future, computer science and engineering disciplines are the most attractive. They're generating significant uh, starting salaries. But um, as you probably know, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics majors as a field, they constitute only a small portion of our workforce, about 5%. Mm -hmm. But they have been responsible for a significant part of our economic growth. So I would say anything that is STEM related, anything that is technology related, be it in engineering or computer science or in music and social sciences, is likely to have a significant it's advantage. It's so interesting that you put music in with computer science. Very much so, because I feel that our workforce has a very diverse set of needs. They are not exclusively engineering or science related. But technology a, supports a bit other of arenas. technology uh, flavor adds to the marketability of graduates of universities. And I can say that about music and technology majors. What have employers shared about student preparedness for the workforce in general? I would say the most important thing from an employer's point of view is uh, solid grounding in disciplinary uh, fields. But, um, but employers are very interested in uh, graduates who have strong communication skills, in graduates who have analytical skills, they have problem solving capabilities, and also I would say in graduates who are able to work in a diverse team with interdisciplinary interests and expertise. And a college that's not providing those things for students isn't doing its job? In my opinion, yes, because if this is what the workforce needs, uh, we have a responsibility to respond. What types of programs should students consider um, in, in terms of positioning themselves for a good job? Uh, you know, this is a difficult uh, question to answer for me. I would say uh, these programs change over time, and uh, I am not smart enough to be able to tell you what disruptions will take place in our uh, economy in, in the years right. to come, but I would always say solid grounding in engineering and sciences paves the way for a successful career. Along with writing. Along with good communication skills and ability to work in a team environment. Thank you so much for being with us. You're most welcome. It's a pleasure.